Welcome to another Scratch lesson. Today we will learn how to create a simple animation in Scratch. But first let's understand how animation works. How does animation work? Well, all animations are made up of frames or sequence of images played back to back up to 24 frames per second. In traditional animation, each frame is drawn by hand, first with rough sketches and thin lines and colors. This was originally done on paper. In stop motion, animators take one photo at a time. Pause the puppet, take a picture. When those pictures are played back in sequence, the character moves. So the animation is created when the series of pictures with slight differences are changed quickly, giving the appearances of movement. By presenting a sequence of still images in quick enough succession, usually 24 frames per second, the viewer interprets them as a continuous moving image. This is the same principle that enables live action making and projection to work so let's create a simple animation in scratch but first let me show you a simple animation that we are going to create at the end of this particular lesson so when I click on this green flag the sprite will move forward then when it reaches the edge it's going to come back and then it's going to move forward in that direction until it reaches the edge and then it's going to bounce back from that particular edge. So this is the simple animation that we are going to create at the end of this particular lesson. So let me stop this animation and then open a new scratch window. Then let's start creating a simple animation here in scratch. When you open the scratch window, you will notice that the default sprite, which is a cat, is placed right at the center of the stage. But for the project that I'm going to create, I'm not going to use this sprite. So therefore, I will simply delete this sprite by clicking on this button here. You will see a trash sign here on top of the sprite. So you can click here to remove this sprite. So when you remove this sprite you will notice that there is no motion block it says stage is selected there's no motion blocks so which means if you want to apply the motion block you must select one or more sprite here so for that we'll select one sprite from by clicking on this button here and then from here i'm going to select one sprite which is appropriate for my project so from here i'm going to select the sprite called as Pico, I'll simply type Pico here and then I'm going to select Pico Walking. So after selecting the sprite, then you will notice that there is a motion block here. Now you can apply different motions to this particular sprite. But before applying different motion blocks, I want to select a background as well. So at the moment, our background is white in color. So let me apply the background by clicking on this button. Then from here, I'm going to select one backdrop which is appropriate for my project simply i will select this blue sky and we have successfully inserted the backdrop as well next let's change the size of this particular sprite at the moment the sprite is too large for my project so therefore i can change the size of this sprite by changing the value here at the moment the default value of the size is 100 100 percent so therefore if you want this sprite to be a little bit smaller you can change the value to around 90 or even 80 70 60 depending on what kind of or what size do you want for your project at the moment the default size is 100 so if you want this sprite to be half of that size, you can say 50%. So 50 is half of 100. So therefore, the size will be half of the original size. And then if you want to double the size, the value should be 200, 100 plus 100, 200. So that's how we can change the value of this particular size and then change the size depending on your choice. 
so in my case i will change back to around 90 percent or even 80 percent because i want this size to be a little bit smaller and then i think it's fine for my project and then i will drag and position somewhere on the ground because i want my pico to walk on the ground instead of flying in the air so that's how you can position you can keep it somewhere in the middle as well it doesn't matter but i will keep it somewhere right here for the testing purpose so now we have we are set with everything we have inserted the background we have inserted the sprite we have also changed the size and we have also positioned the sprite so now let's create a program for this particular animation first i'm going to move this sprite forward and i'm going to make use of the block called as the motion block because moving has something to do with the motion so therefore every every block which is related to movement will be there under the motion block so from here i'm going to use this move 10 step which is on the top and then i'm going to drag it and then drop it here in the area script area or the court area so that's where you can drag and drop the block and then place it right over here so when you click on this block you will notice that my sprite is moving forward if you want to see it clearly then i'm going to drag it on the top and then you will notice that my sprite is moving forward every time i click once on this particular block so if you want your sprite to move fast or in large steps you can always change to for example like 100 steps then when you click on this block so it's moving 100 steps every time i click on this block but if you want to move slowly you can say around five steps and then when i drag this one back and then click on this block then it's going to move slowly five steps per click so whenever i click on this block it's going to move five steps forward okay now that's perfect the next thing is every time when i click on this block this sprite moves forward but it's not giving the feel of an animation because we are not really making use of the costumes if you click on this costumes tab then you will notice that there are lots of costumes here we have four costumes for this sprite but we are just making use of this first costume so in order to make use of all the costumes then i'm going to make use of this looks block here so from here i'm going to choose the block called as the next costume so i will attach it right here so now when i click on this move five steps and and the next costume block i, I can simply click on the top of this block and then now it will sh move forward by five steps and then it's going to switch the costume to the next costume so if you look at this costume bo block then right at the moment it's switched to costume 3 and then when i click once more on this block then you will notice that the costume has been switched to costume 4 then further if i click once more then you will notice that the costume is switched to costume 1 so if i press here quickly then you will notice that our sprite is moving forward by 5 steps as well as changing the costume the next thing is in the program i may not want myself to be clicking on the, this block every time i want my sprite to move forward so my program should work automatically on its own so therefore the next thing that i can do is from the control block so there is a loop called as the forever so if i use this forever loop it's going to run this program forever times or infinite amount of times which means unless you stop it manually it's not going to stop so it's going to continue running whatever is there inside this particular block so what i can do is i can simply drag this particular block and then drop it right inside this forever block now if i click on this forever block this animation is going to work and then it's going to move forward forever times or infinite amount of times and then it's not going to come back because we have not set the block for this or we have not set the program for this one so therefore it's going to move forward forever times it's going to move forward infinite amount of times so let me stop this one by clicking on this red button here and then let's add the next core so the next part is our this sprite is moving forward 
but it's not returning back when it hits the edge of this particular window of this stage when it reaches the edge of this stage it should turn back but at the moment it is not turning back because we have not created the program for it so in order to create that particular motion back so we have to go back to the motion and then from here i will select if on edge bounce so if this particular sprite reaches the edge of the stage it's going to bounce back so this block of code i will put right to this next custom and then when i run on this forever loop it's bouncing back see it's bouncing back from both the edges but there is some problem there so let's fix that problem as well so you will notice that when this sprite reaches the edge it's bouncing back but it's turning upside down and then it's returning back so let's fix that problem so in order to fix that problem let me stop this program so it's important if you want to make changes to your code so make sure you stop it first and then make the change necessary change so if you keep this one running and then if you try to make changes then it's going to create some problem it's most probably going to hang your computer so therefore make sure you stop these things first and then make changes to your code so under the motion block so right at the bottom you'll see set rotation left to right so if i click on this small arrow here drop down menu here so we'll see don't rotate and all around so by default the set rotation style is set to all around which means the rotation style is all way around it's going to rotate around when it is hits when it reaches the edge and then it's going to go back and then turn around and then it's going to follow the same way because by default the rotation style is set to all around so what i can do is i can select and then let's try with this don't rotate and then put these things here let's see what's happening here when i use this don't rotate and then click on this forever block so it's going to come back when it reaches the edge but it's not turning it's coming back first which is what i may not want for my project i want this pico to turn back and then move forward so let's stop this one and then from here instead of don't rotate i'm going to choose left to right i want to rotate but i just want this sprite to rotate left to right which means i'm just going to flip it when it reaches the edge so when i click on this forever block again so it's going to come back and then if you look at it it's flipping once it reaches the edge so that's what i've wanted so if you look at this animation it's working quite well but there is one problem there our pico is working too fast so therefore i will put some delay in between the blocks of code so therefore let's try to again understand this program one by one if you look at here the first block is move five steps our pico is going to move five steps after that it's going to change the costume it's going to change to the next costume and then these are the conditions if it reaches the edge it's going to bounce back and then it's going to set the rotation to left and right from there so right after changing the costume i'm going to insert some delay so that it will not change the costume so fast so that it appears as if this pico is running instead of walking so therefore i'm going to stop this animation and then when you click on this control then you will see wait one second so i can put wait one second right next to this next costume so when i click on this forever block once again then it's going to move forward by five steps and then it's going to change the costume and then it's going to wait for one second before running the next block of code so therefore if you look at the code it's working after the delay of exactly one second which is too slow as if it's working in very slow motion so therefore what i can do is i can change the wait second or delay time to somewhere at 0 0.2 and then if i click on this forever block once again so it looks fine it looks normal to me so, so that's how you can make changes to your program The next important thing is when I stop this animation by clicking on this button and then if I want to restart this one by clicking on this one green flag then it's not going to work 
because at the moment we have not set any kind of event or we have not set this when green flag button option so in order to set this option i need to go to events and then from here where you will see when green flag clicked so this block i'm going to put on the top of this program so it means when i click on this green flag button here every program that is attached to this particular block will be executed so now i do not have to click on here every time i want my project to be executed i can simply click on this green button to run our project or start our project of course you can always click on here to this button to start your project but i can always start with this one because later you will have plenty of sprite at the moment i just have one sprite but if you have thousands and thousands of sprites like this for example and then if you want to if you so if you want to start both your project this one this project and this project at the same time then you do not have to go there and then click it manually there you can simply click on this green button to start your project so that's why it's important to have this green flag button set for every program so that's how you can create a simple animation in scratch so in scratch you can have more than one sprite here instead of just pico walking you can set a different sprite for example in this case if i want this bear to work then i can simply select this and then create a separate program for this bear so i can simply follow the steps which are given here and then you can create a separate program for this particular sprite as well